Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mr. Magma, and today I'm going to be telling you on how to make millions in GDA. Now, there are five ways, and I will be showing them. And I would say, please subscribe, because if you want to see more GDA guides, you know, you gotta you got to watch these, uh, these uh, videos. Anyway, so for number one on our list is quick jobs. So... You know what a quick job is, like, you know, doing little updates, you know, for big updates. And you go on the quick job menu and you just, they're all there. So, like, you can do heists, you can do races and stuff like that. It's pretty good to start off with because you can earn a decent amount of money. And, um, I didn't really use them back in the day because, uh, I didn't, like, really play much, uh, GDA just like got it but like it's a really good way you can earn some money and it's really uh, fun for some modes it's fun and this is place number five because um, than other any other like stuff you know other small stuff because like you know it's easy to get into you can earn a decent amount of cash and RP between each round maybe you know there's like um, you know, the three times GDA dollars and stuff like that, you know, there's maybe, I don't know, three times RP and three times, you know, all that stuff, you know, two times, that can, like, earn you good money, and, you know, f games are fun, because, well, yeah, and I'd save up the money for number four on our list. So, at number four, we have biker businesses. Yes, biker businesses, because they're actually really good to use now the reason being is because of money wise you can join a if someone invites you you can join them they, uh, and you'll get paid so much money you gotta go into the interactive menu and click motorcycle club president and it's down there somewhere I can't really remember I think it's under services but anyway so yeah this is biker business you know, it's a bit Weird. So once you actually buy one for like one million, yeah, you you know the get the one decent one. And you go on open road. This is my business. It's a cash factory. But the cheapest one for six hundred and fifty k is a document forgery. And all of these are you know spread out. They're most in Blaine County. Yeah, but I only own that because I bought the starter pack. But it's pretty um good. You know, it's a bit weird though but you can decorate it on the um inside you know it's pretty okay but the money wise is good though i mean if you joined you know someone's um uh motorcycle business uh what you can actually do is get money out of thin air so you get a certain percentage i forgot what the percentage was but you will actually get a certain percentage um from what they make can't remember the percentage and you'll basically get that it's really good and like really easy to use not easy to use yeah I mean it is easy to use so I'm just gonna go fly over to my um cash counterfeit money which is literally just down the road but they're all spread out in you know Grand Sonora Desert and uh, Polito Bay and you know grape seed and stuff it's it's mostly in Blaine County because you know it's a motorcycle businesses why would it not be in you know course it's not going to be in um Los Santos but there are stuff you know throughout Los Santos you know some like stuff yeah it's um it's number four on our list because I would say the money wise is decent and you know you'd have to save up literally 1.65 mil so that's why um you gotta save your money from the um uh quick job stuff so, uh, let me just load in. So, this is my cash counterfeit thingy. As you see, I have, like, literally zero value and zero pro product and supplies. So, you want to go and, you know, open the road thing. And that's your home page. You can resupply for 75 grand. Or you can, you know, steal supplies. Which, uh, I tend to do. And, you know, there's always upgrades. They're a bit too expensive, though. And I really don't buy upgrades. And never shut down a business. Because it loses all your product. As it literally says it. 
But that's pretty much it. Yeah, this is really all it is. I mean, it looks good. It takes, I would, it takes really long though. But like the supply missions are, I would say, really easy. You know, just for me, I think they're pretty easy. You know, to do. They're pretty simple. The first one, like, one, if you like buy a, um a business, if you like buy a little office or something like that. You buy a cash counterfeit, you buy cocaine, you buy the meth stuff, you buy a forged documentary. You'll actually get a starter mission where it actually um uh, gives you full supplies, but you actually have to do a resupply. After that, you know, it gives you like a little bit of resupply and you have to keep doing it until you have full resupply. But that's pretty much it for biker businesses. And I'd say, yeah, it's really good, but I'd save your money up for this. Because, you know, it's making millions, it's later on number three on our list so number three on our list today we have um, bunkers you know now the starting price is one million dollars and you can go on if you get up you know your internet and you go on to um, uh, money and services that's right you want to go to May's bank foreclosures and you want to enter the site and the cheapest one is up in Polito Bay over here I bought thingy that's why it's got the I bought this starter pack that's why it's got that Anyway, what you buy it for like one mil, easy stuff. Easy, easy stuff. So you know, I haven't really upgraded it that much though. I will maybe later. I don't know. As you can see, it's pretty plain. You know, you got all your workings and stuff like that. You know, you can buy a soda if you want. If you're feeling like, mm, yeah, I want a soda. But that's pretty much it. I'd have to say. I'm just kidding. So you can do this as a motorcycle president, um, uh, a VIP, which I haven't actually used, or a secure serve, CEO. And I tend to use CEO. I don't really do my biker businesses that much, but it's pretty good. So you want to log on to Disruption. And here's your home page. It tells you total earnings and total sales. Resupply, you got that. You got your fast track research for 225k. Which is a lot, and you know, you got your stock level, research, progress, and supplies level. This is what I've unlocked recently, the sand battery and hollow point rounds. Yeah, and then like, for locked, I really haven't unlocked. I think there's like 50 of each, but that's pretty much what I've unlocked. And look how much there is. Look how much. It's, it's way too much. I really, really don't like it. Because, um... It, uh, it's too much resupplying. I don't really like resupplying. So for managing staff, you can assign to manufacturing, which is like, you know, using your supplies to make stock to sell, which is like, you know, the good thing. You can also assign them to research, which, as you can see, my research progress, that basically unlocks stuff, you know, for any... Um, stuff that came out in the biker DLC, like, you know, maybe upgrades to, actually it's mostly upgrades to guns and vehicles, but you can also unlock the other stuff like paint jobs and stuff. Upgrades are really, really expensive, which I have actually not bought because I find them way too expensive and I find them, you know, a waste of money. Like, you, you don't want to spend your millions on this, you want to spend your millions on stuff. Don't ever shut down your business though. Okay, so that's pretty much, you know, the whole computer thingy my bob, you know, it's pretty basic, you know, you got all your manufacturing here, as you can see, they're on doing nothing, because I haven't resupplied, it's pretty easy to resupply, actually some resupply missions are actually really fun, and so are stock missions, but here is where you store your MOC, which is a service vehicle and you also store your um anti aircraft battery uh aircraft trailer um so you to buy all this stuff you want to go in war stock you'll just go down uh yeah uh there's the moc um it starts off i think one point something million and it comes with a uh, command center which also comes with stock explosive turret which is really good and it's super like jacked up like you will not get blown up Here's all the gun running. So you got your aircraft chair, you got your half track, you got the night shark, the ardent, 
the APC, you know, your oppressor mark on, I like to say, all your stuff. Now, see the ballista equipment? That costs 500k, but when you click on it, you can't buy it, because in the top left, it says you have to research it, which sucks. But, like, literally everything for a bunker is research, research, research. It, it's not really good. Like, but it is good to earn money. I think you can earn, like, around about 500 K on each, which is really decent. But and the thing when selling them as well is you can actually sell them to two places. I don't really. Same with the uh, motorcycle club, but yeah. So you can sell them to two places. Um, you can either sell them to um, what was it? Oh yeah, so you sell them in Blaine County, which mine is based off in because it's in Polito Bay. So that will actually sell what your total value is. But if you sell them in um, Los Santos, say, for say, like if you know, that can actually give you an extra 50% of your value. So let's say you had 500k, boom, you got 750k if you sell it in Thinny. But remember, there's also, you know, you got to, and this is where it all stores, but like, you know... You gotta be careful of other players, cause you know, yeah. Uh, this is um number two on our list, and um yeah, this is um oh, I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, import export. So you go and buy an office on a uh, Dynasty A executive. Uh, this one costs one million dollars. It's Maze Bank West. Just keep it at stock, I'd say. I keep mine at stock, except for my, you know, little personal bedroom. And so basically, if you want to do this, you actually need $2.5 million to actually do this. $1 million to get your business, and $1.5 million to actually get your vehicle cargo warehouse. I already have mine. It stores up to 40 vehicles. You can source a vehicle. There's other active organizations. That's where mine is based off. That's the one point five mil and you know they're all throughout uh, Los Santos and they're pretty good so you can renovate warehouse or source a vehicle uh, it stores up to 40 vehicles which is really good I'd say I'd say it's pretty good I'd say like when using this um, You're looking good. you want to make sure you use like Hi there. um what I was gonna say so there are different types of vehicles, uh, they're actually really fun ones, one of my favourite ones is where you actually have to use um, a stunt car, you get actually get a car and you stunt off um, a ramp, it's really cool because it comes with a boost, I'm just going to go fly over there, it's pretty good but it's also really annoying because um, they're expensive cars and uh, there is a downside to this, I know it seems, oh no, what's the downside? Well, one of the downsides is is that it's, um, you know, it's in all that factory area and stuff, and there's actually a gang right near it. Um, it's really bad because, you know, if you say you accidentally shoot something, um, like a bunch of gangs are going to attack you. And it's super actually hard to get to some places because... One, they're usually up in, like, Vinewood Hills, the m main one. There's one at, oh, I forgot his name. There's a uh, Martin's White House, which is a pretty easy one to get to, because, you know, you just go through the highway. But, you know, it's really bad, because the number one downside is that you, you can get different costs. So there's three different, like, you get to choose three different... Um, prices to sell it for, but the downside is you actually have to pay for different sellings. So let's say you sell it for, f you don't have to pay any money to get it ready, and you can sell it for like some sort of money. But then you want to pay just a little bit of thousands of dollars. That'll actually give you more money, but then you're gonna, but then you have to take that off. But you are gonna make a better profit. Now there is another one with for high-end vehicles, which high-end vehicles are the best ones, of course. It's, you can sell it for 100k, but to sell it, you have to pay 20k, so you get 80k profit. And, uh, this is where you store all the vehicles. Pretty good, uh, this design I actually chose for like 200 and something thousand dollars. 
because I had the money at the time. And so basically, this is your outfit. So it's okay. The toilet doesn't look that good. I'm not going to show you because it's disgusting. Basically, I haven't actually sourced any vehicles, but this is where they'll be. So you can know they'll always be there. You sort by value, it means like expensive thing. Uh, filter range, you always want to sell top range. Top range is the best. And they'll come up there and you can press um, export. And you just press that export button over here. And you actually need um, associates to help you with it. Because uh, you can't drive four cars, I'm sorry. But hopefully, like, you know, you've made some friends over the uh, time. You know, they can join your association. They actually don't get money. Which is sad, and what's also bad about this is, um, you can actually get, um, you actually can lose money by actually destroying the car. Now, by getting it driven over to here, you'll lose money and then you'll have to pay that, but when selling it, your money will just go down between how many cars you sell. And for number one on our list is the, um, Pacific Standard Heist. Now, the reason this is not in the, uh, you know, other, in number five, is because this is the top paying um, heist, and it really gives you a good amount of money, depending on who gives you. I think, like, 15% is still really good, because it gives you, like, I think, 200 something K. Anyway, you can earn, if some, like, 100 to 300 K, which is a lot, and that's, like, you know, play a couple of heists with your friends. Wow, you're earning a lot of money, like, quickly. And the thing is, though, now you're done with the top thingies, you can actually, like, the, you know, it's all there. But the thing with the, um, now you can just use your money to spend on whatever you want. But you actually do have to pay fees for, you know, your mechanic, your, you know, your bunker supplies, you know, I mean, like, the people that work at your bunker. Uh, you have to pay for your office. There's a downside to that, but that only takes like a couple thousands of dollars. I own a bunch of businesses, and I only get I have to pay like 10 to 12k. But that pretty ra pretty much wraps up the video on how to earn millions of dollars if you have just started. I hope you found this um, tutorial very um, helpful. So don't forget to subscribe, smash that um, like button, you know. Stay breezy. What the hell is uh, going on? Anyway, this is a good way to, uh, you know, earn those millions. And this is... I've used this, and it's actually really good. Except I don't really I use my other stuff. I will do a review on a nightclub coming up soon. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video for m more videos. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have to catch you later. So, see ya.